Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope everybody's day is off to a great start. I'm thankful to be in the land of the living this morning. I'm thankful to be amongst the living this morning. I'm thankful that God woke me up this morning and gave me another chance. So I have a quick word for y'all today. Uh, yesterday, I talked about uh, the value of the word. And I talked about how God is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, right? And not only is he the beginning and the end, he is also everything in between. And so what happens is as you walk with God, right? As you talk with God, as you abide with God, as you walk with him every day, as you spend time with him, as you align yourself with him, God will often give you glimpses of what is to come. God will give you a glimpse of the person that you will become. He will give you a glimpse of what your life will be like in the future. He will give you a glimpse of the land flowing with milk and honey here in the land of the living. He will give you a glimpse of where your business will be. He will give you a glimpse of what your business will look like five years from now. He will give you a glimpse of the transformation that he is getting ready to do in your life. He will give you a glimpse of things that are coming way down the line. And so what will happen, because we are humans, right? And we naturally are used to walking by sight and not by faith when we really should be walking by faith and not by sight. Because we are so used to going by what we see, we get frustrated, right? We get frustrated and we get discouraged because we are wondering what is taking so long. God has given you a glimpse of where he is going to take you. He has given you a glimpse of the changes that are going to take place. He has given you changes. He has given you glimpses of all these changes that are coming. And so we become impatient because we're looking and saying how much longer. We're looking and saying, God, I'm doing what you're telling me to do. I'm abstaining from things that I'm supposed to be abstaining from. I'm walking the way you're telling me to walk. I'm in your word. I'm trying to do what your word is telling me to do. I'm praying every day. Look, I am fasting. I am doing everything that I know how to do, God. How much longer is it going to take for me to actually hold this thing that you have given me a glimpse of? How long is it going to take for me to hold this thing in my hand? What is the holdup? How much longer is it going to take? I want to give you a scripture today. My scripture today is coming from James, the fourth, fifth chapter, excuse me, and the seventh verse. I want to read it to you. And it reads, be patient then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield his valuable crop, patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains. That is my word for y'all today, patiently waiting. Be patient then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop, patiently waiting for the autumn and the spring rains. See, the farmer, the farmer has to have patience. And let me tell you what the farmer has to do. All we see is the bare fields. And then suddenly later on, we'll see the fields with the harvest and the, the corn coming up and the plants and the crops and all that stuff. That's what we see. But we don't see the work that it takes in between. We don't see what that farmer has to do in between. And so there are seasons the farmer will plant this season, but then the farmer has to patiently wait, right? He's got to sow seeds. He's got to have faith, right? He's got to depend on the Lord, right? And pray because actually if it's too much rain, it's going to damage his harvest. If it's not enough rain, it's going to damage his harvest. Then who controls the weather, God? And so basically the farmer has to have faith. The farmer has to believe that the seeds that he has planted, he has to believe and have faith and walk by faith and not by sight. And he has to believe in the in-between period that we're talking about. He has to believe in that period that the harvest will come. He does everything that he possibly can, everything that he knows to do that is right. He does it after he sows those seeds and then he has to wait until it actually comes to fruition and until he actually sees his harvest. That in-between period is the period where people often quit. The in-between period is where people often throw in the towel and go back to their old ways. The in-between period is where, pe is where people get so frustrated and say, God, I have been standing on your word. What is taking so long? But God is prophetic and so we we want things to happen now, but there is a process. And just because God gave you a glimpse of where he's going to take you does not mean that it's going to happen right now. There is a process in between. And that process where we often say trust the process is what is making you and molding you and shaping you and creating you and preparing you 
for that next season. It is actually molding you and making you into the person that you need to be in order to step into that next season, in order to obtain that harvest, in order to be a good steward over that harvest when you get it. You have to go through that in-between process. And so my word for today is that we have to patiently wait because God gives us glimpses and we get so excited. We get excited like the kids when they see the Christmas presents under the Christmas tree and they've got to wait. They have to patiently wait, but they keep looking and they know that it's something there. They know that it's something there. They know that it's something that they are going to have. It's the same thing with us. We have to patiently wait. We know that God's word is true and whatever he tells us, any check that he writes, that we can take it to the bank and we can cash it and it will not bounce. God said his word will not return to him void. Heaven and earth will cease before his word returns to him void. So we know that when he gives us glimpses of things and we know that when he tells us that he is going to do something and when he makes promises, we know that that thing is good. We know that it's coming, but we've got to patiently wait. And so my word for you today is to patiently wait just like the farmer has to do patiently wait just like the kids have to do when they know that there are gifts under that Christmas tree that they cannot open until Christmas morning. We have to patiently wait. Even though God has given us glimpses, yes, we should be eager. We should be have eager anticipation. We should be excited about that thing. We should be excited because we know that it's going to come to pass. It's just a matter of when. And so we have to trust the process and God is the process. Trust what he is doing. Trust his timing. He will never come late. He will always come right on time. He may not come when you want him, but he will come right on time. That is my word for today is that we have to patiently wait. Get excited for that thing, right? Do everything just like the farmer does do everything that we know is right to do get in God's word everything that he is telling us to do we do it now as we're waiting on that and when the time is right when the harvest is ready you're going to see that thing start coming up and before you know it you will hold it in your hand I love you I am Grace Amber I'm going to be right back on tomorrow with another word